could be crying. And there was no sign of Lathan. I don't know whether to be grateful or concerned. We'll find him, Val. Now go check on the Pearl while I speak to our new guest. What a rare honor Valserin bestowed upon you. Only a select few not of our order have ever walked upon this sacred island. Val tells me your aid was indispensable in uncovering the false Aldark's plot on Somerset. Unfortunate, certainly. The magic you describe sounds familiar, though I can't quite recall where I've heard of it before. I fear the pearls may be a harbinger of the threat Sotha Seal warned us about. Sotha Seal, one of the living gods of the Dark Elf Tribunal. He's an honorary member of our order. After an attack on his clockwork city, he warned us about a Daedric threat to Somerset and Arteum. I sent Valserin to investigate. Indeed. But not until we finish studying the pearl Valserin brought us. There are mysteries to unravel, and Val believes you will be instrumental to our success. We can get started immediately. Unless you want to explore our island first. The next step involves a thorough examination of the strange pearl you and Valserin recovered from beneath the Shimmerine Monastery. Hopefully, we can learn more about the false Aldark and the source of the Pearl's magic. We are the Sigic Order, friend of Valserin. There is very little we cannot accomplish through the application of the old ways. Every object remembers its history. The trick involves selecting the correct ritual to reveal those buried memories. While I head inside to begin the augury ritual, I'd like you to go to Sotha Seal's study in the tower, find my acolyte, Oriandra, and ask her for Sotha Seal's amplification elixir. We may need it if the pearl proves to be resistant to our magic. be the adventurer that Valserin was going on about. Allow me to be the first to welcome you to our secret island. Oh, I suppose you already talked to the right master, seeing as you're here in Kapora Tower. That strange pearl has certainly been reluctant to reveal its secrets. The right master hates it when an inanimate object refuses to cooperate. Regarding the amplification elixir, I just cataloged it. It's a Sotha Seal creation, as you'd expect. Hmm. What? No, not in the traditional sense. 
He's not one of our monks, if that's what you're asking. More like an honorary member, I guess you'd say. According to my records, the Silver Vial should be right over there. As soon as the Pearl arrived via Valserin's transference spell, the Rite Master gathered the Conclave to prepare an augury ritual. He's been cycling sages through to keep them fresh, while slowly increasing the intensity of the ritual. I'm the Rite Master's acolyte. I have other duties to perform. Besides, such a complex ritual requires the power of the Conclave of the Eleven Forces. I'm not that strong yet. Under the Rite Master's tutelage, I expect to attain that rank. One day. I'm not allowed to reveal where you are, or how our magic works, other than to tell you that you have arrived upon the fabled island of the Sigic Order, Arteum. While we're not currently part of Nern's reality, we still keep track of events there. I could say we have our ways and leave it at that, but you deserve a better explanation. The Rite Master sends Sigics back to the world to perform tasks and gather information, Plus, we have powerful scrying magic that reveals all sorts of details. Why does every High Elf think they're superior to the rest of us? Being an Altmer isn't a prerequisite for joining the Sigic Order. The Rite Master saw my potential and honored me with an invitation. I'm proud of what I've accomplished here. I was examining the vial of amplification elixir myself just a short time ago. It should be right over there. As soon as the pearl arrived via Valserin's transference spell, the Rite Master gathered the Conclave to prepare an augury ritual. He's been cycling sages through to keep them fresh, while slowly increasing the intensity of the ritual. Was Oriandra able to direct you to the proper elixir? Without something to amplify the magic, our ritual is going to fail. Just in time. For the next stage of the ritual, if you have no objections, I'd like you to join us. Your experiences alongside Valserin might help reveal what has so far eluded our efforts. We'll handle the magic. You pour the elixir into the scrying pool and stand close. As the ritual's power amplifies, your experiences with the Pearl and the False Aldark should help the augury do its job. We want to discover the origin of the Pearl and its strange magic. In addition, anything we can learn about the False Aldark and his connection to the Pearl would be helpful. Otherwise, we're stepping blindly into Oblivion's maw here. Pour the elixir into the pool. That should provide the final boost we need to trigger the augury. Here we stand. The most favored servants of Clavicus Smile, Nefala, and Nocturnal. On the verge of the greatest victory for our princes. Are you sure those creatures can be trusted? Have no fear. Isn't that why we formed the Court of Bedlam? Besides, what happens next in Relinthil will seal Somerset's fate. was unnerving. It seems the false Aldark belonged to an alliance of Daedric cultists called the Court of Bedlam. Imagine, the faithful of Clavicus Vile, Mafala, and Nocturnal working together. This is more serious than I anticipated. No, but I'm hardly an expert on the Daedric cults of Tamriel. The magic I sensed in the Pearl, though, it doesn't contain the taint of oblivion. We're missing something, but what? I suppose we'll need to find out what's going on in Relenthiel. I hoped you'd say that. Relenthiel sits to the west of Shimmerin, just across the mountains. I'll send Valserin with you to talk to the Cannon Reeve. The False Aldark may be dead, but Mafala's and Nocturnal's agents remain, as well as the Pearls. I may not be a natural prognosticator, but I had a feeling you might. Go ahead. I'll answer what I can. From what I've experienced, an alliance isn't just unusual, 
It's contrary to their very nature. Oh, they'll work together from time to time, but something as complex as what Sotha Seal hinted at is unheard of. Makes me interested to learn more. Ah, this one has been looking for you. Raz's investigations have brought him to Relentil. When this one noticed your Sigic friend slip into town, Raz figured you'd be along soon. So, what did you discover on Arteum, the island that isn't here anymore? Ugh, oh, that made Raz's head hurt. Yes. This one has been exploring the Daedra connection as well. But Raz hates Daedra. In Raz's experience, very little good comes from dealing with Daedra or their cultists. And this revelation brings you to Relandil, yes? That is disturbingly vague. Why must cryptic cultists be so... cryptic? Well, Raz saw Valserin head toward Canon Reef Farmeldo's house. This one suggests we start our investigation of the area there. Trapped! Which one could he possibly be? Go inside and we'll discuss this later. And take off that ridiculous hood. Ridiculous? I'll show you what's ridiculous. I'll show you all! You think as Canon Reeve I'd be immune to the troublesome temper of a spoiled and rebellious child. But what distinguished visitors I have today. A wandering sage, a well-dressed Khajiit, and you. What brings such a group to Relentheel?
Investigating? For who? Well, there have been three reports this week of someone disappearing. And my intractable son, Nadoril, and his malcontent friends have been cavorting around the large sinkhole that recently appeared. What are you implying? They're just young and proud of their heritage. I wouldn't draw such a harsh conclusion without substantial evidence. I can't understand why they're fascinated with the sinkhole, but that doesn't make them criminals. I suppose two high elves and a well-dressed Khajiit can be trusted. Take a look around and let me know if you find anything significant. I just wish my son Nadoril would stay away from there. He's become so intense lately. A phase, I'm sure. Raz wants to ask the Cannon Reeve a few more questions. Take the Sijik and go investigate the sinkhole. I'll meet you in the sinkhole. And one of those horrible creatures tore off my hood! That young woman was certainly in a hurry. And what was that about Nadoral and an attack? Yes, well, let's be on our guard then. I don't think this sinkhole is completely natural. Its size concerns me. If the ground continues to fall away, it could swallow all of Relenthiel. It certainly feels dangerous. And if it does figure into the Court of Bedlin's plans, well... 
I can't think of a more frightening event than watching Relin Theo get swallowed by a sinkhole. Let's proceed and find out what's going on down here. The walls and ceiling, they don't look stable. I'll try to reinforce the weak spots and catch up with you. Those Yagra creatures. Be careful. The size of this place. It's almost as if someone dug up through the island. I'll teleport closer to the central area and meet you there. Is someone there? Help! Crazy bastard. Stabbed me! God, this hurts. It was just kind of fun. Joining the court of Bedlam. Espousing the virtues of our Ultima heritage. But Medoral, he took things too far. When we heard that they planned to re release those creatures, I made the mistake of saying they were insane. Medoral objected. Call me unworthy. That's what he stabbed me. The court of Bedlam will eradicate the lesser races. Maybe even deal with our unworthy queen. Over here. Keep quiet and tell me if you see what I see. You see that, right? My eyes aren't playing tricks on me. That's a sea slowed. They haven't been seen in Somerset since, well, it's been centuries at least. A vile and dangerous species. Very powerful. The sea slowed come from the distant underwater kingdom of Ulvorkus. Who's that hooded figure with the slowed? And look, more of those abyssal pearls. They're everywhere. The slowed are a godless people, perhaps the most hated in Tamriel. And the sea slowed are even worse. They employ depraved magic and have long covered its Somerset. They believe it once belonged to them. They pillage, release plagues. They're horrible. The hooded figure could be a member of this so-called Court of Bedlam. At this point, nothing would surprise me. That slowed has me worried, though. I can't think of anything worse than an alliance between those foul beasts and Daedric cultists. They could certainly have a connection to the sea slowed submerged kingdom, but they appear to have been placed down here. Look how the Yagra are drawn to them. I'll head for the sea slowed. You deal with those abyssal pearls. 
Master, intruders in the cave. Feed me, my creatures! Destroy the intruders! That young idiot. We need to get over there. Witness the power of Kator of the Abyssal Cabal! This way, we're almost there. Destroy the pearls! We can't let those creatures reach the surface! The sea slode and the hooded figure are gone. I'll try to determine where they disappeared to. No sign of where the sea slow disappeared to. Damn it! I wasn't fast enough. For the time being, let's see what's through that opening. The sea slow left us something to remember it by. We need to dispatch that creature. Get out over there. This way. Somehow Raz knew he'd find you here. Sea slows. This is worse than the right master imagined. Meet me in Arteum after you talk to the Queen's Eye. Did the pretty Sijic say, Sea Slod? No. Raz must have heard wrong. That could not have been what she said. Slod? That's bad. 
And Seaslord, that sounds even worse. If the Seaslord threatens Somerset, Queen Irene must be informed. We need to act. Wait, what did you say about the Cannon Reeve's son? Daedra worshippers in Somerset and Sloth. Oh, Roz likes this situation less and less. As for Nedoro, Raz knows how to deal with traitors. This one will meet you at the Cannonry's house. The Eye of the Queen? How dare you accuse my son of treason? The Queen's Eye? How dare he not identify himself when he first arrived? And how dare he accuse my foolish son of something as serious as treason? The Queen shall hear of this, mark my words. Seaslowed? Plus all this nonsense about Altma's superiority, and now, murder? I am the Cannon Reeve of Relenthil. I took an oath to serve and protect my community. How in the Queen's name am I supposed to reconcile my son's actions? Oh, Nadoril, what have you done? Please, you must talk to the Queen's eye. He needs to show mercy. I'm sure we can find a way to resolve this without... Oh, here comes Nadoril now. <laughs> Foolishness can be ignored. Murder and treason, not so much. You and your queen have no authority over a true Ultima, you mangy cat. This one cannot allow your crimes to stand unanswered. Nadoril! No! No! I understand. Relenthil is loyal to the Queen. Sometimes the eye sees treason and must cut it out before it spreads. This one is sorry you had to witness that. Blasphemy, treason, murder. How many crimes must one commit to attract the attention of the Executioner's Blade? Raz decided that a message had to be sent. Enemies of the Queen will not be tolerated. Treason and the Queen's justice are serious business. Raz has been forced into this role on rare occasions, but he never seeks it out or looks forward to wielding the blade. A necessary part of my job, yes. <sighs> no. Raz will see to the Cannon Reeve and send word to the Queen before looking deeper into the Court of Bedlam. You should return to Arteum and let the Sijiks know what we learned. I tell you, Five Claw, this whole situation makes Raz want to hiss. Raz will report to the...
Friend of Valseren, I have a proposal for you. Ah, friend of Valserin, I've been informed that you encountered a sea slode in a sinkhole beneath Relenthiel. That bodes ill for Somerset, perhaps all of Nern. I fear there are difficult days ahead. I'm familiar with that particular sea slode and its renegades. Call themselves the Abyssal Cabal. I thought I defeated them long ago, but it appears I was in error. What about the pearls? Valserin mentioned you encountered more in the sinkhole. Val described those seaborne monstrosities. I have a vague recollection of Katora utilizing such creatures in the past, but for some reason, the memories refuse to snap into focus. I suppose that's another mystery I'll need to look into. The Daedric Princes require minions to carry out their will, and the Slode have always had an interest in the green and pleasant island. It isn't hard to see why they might work together. For now, you have my thanks for assisting Valserin. I asked the Conclave of the Eleven Forces to ponder how we can learn more from the Abyssal Pearl. With the additional information you provided, I expect that Iridel or Amalira will be able to develop a new avenue of investigation now. The augury ritual revealed the connection to the Court of Bedlam and pointed to trouble in Relenthiel. Now we need to determine where Katora and the Sea Slodes are hiding. The Abyssal Pearl should be able to point us in the right direction. The more we learn, the more the nature of the threat becomes clear. <laughs>